You still kind of haven't gotten out there with him to work yeah. on syncing things up with Harold. Where, where do you stand with that? I mean, you know, in, the, in, the, um, in today's age, that's part of it, man. You know, uh, COVID is real and it's, uh, you know, it, it happens. You know, we have something that we really can't control. You know, uh, we're doing all the right protocols, you know, to, um, to avoid that. But, you know, sometimes in life, then things just come at you and uh, that's one of it. But uh, I'm excited to be back on the field. You know, just doing uh, the things that I can do right now. And uh, once Harry get back, man, I feel like uh, next week, I feel like we can pick up and uh, just keep it going fast. When you guys aren't able to work on the field together, what kind of dialogue are you guys able to have? I don't know, maybe via Zoom right now because he's in quarantine. Yeah. But just what kind of co communications are you able to have with him, work, maybe film study, stuff yeah. like that, when you can't play together? Uh, you know, more so right now, basically like a lot of game plan stuff, you know, preparing for, uh, preparing for AZ. Um, you know, he's he's got a lot of more time right now to watch film than, than, than us, obviously. So, you know, he's able to see things and tell us, and uh, we're pointing things out to him via Zoom. So, you know, he's getting the opportunity and, uh, to watch the practices that uh, together and it meets with us as well. So we're still having that same communication, with, and Coach Crow is doing a great job of that. When you have a quarterback like Kyler Murray, he can break the clock and yeah. step up and do things. So that tiered pass rush, is that something – that kind of comes naturally, or do you guys have dialogue? Like, I'm going to go deep this time, and you, you know what I mean? Yeah, so uh, anytime you got a, a mobile quarterback, is always an option. You don't want them to, especially uh, guys that break the pocket and make explosive plays like Kyler Murray does. And uh, you know other other quarterbacks in the league that are, are, that are very explosive. Once they get outside the pocket, the main thing you want to do, you know, is just kind of limit that. And you know, you have have a, have a group that works together in the rush and don't let them escape and uh, make those big plays that he makes with his legs as, as much uh, down the field and down the stretch of the game because they can hurt you tremendously. So is that something like where like on one on one play? You know, you'll go a little bit deeper, and uh, the other, they go on the opposite side. Yeah, you got to control the. Yeah, you got to control the rush. You definitely got to control the rush. The guys can't be. Uh, two guys can't be behind a quarterback. So, uh, you know, somebody gonna do a speed rush, man. You got to kind of like let guys know what's going on, and that's something in the game plan that you kind of can work with throughout the week. You know, get a feel for, and that way, um, if. Guys like Harry want to go rush on the outside. You know, people on the other side got to make sure we're going to speed the power, just maintaining that emphasis. Evaluate your progress uh, so far, bud, in terms of coming back from the injury. You, I mean, you're not no brace, anything like that. Yeah. You feel pretty good about how things have gone so, so far? So, yeah, man, so the whole thing, man, you know, it was devastating at the beginning, but I feel like uh, I handled the process uh, uh, well. You know, even um, the rehab, you know, late, late, lately, I've still been making sure I'm on top of my game uh, as far as that, man, so I can be ready for week one. Well, it takes a lot of people a year, maybe more, usually to recover from ACL. Do you feel like you're tracking ahead of, of schedule, or what? what do you think? Oh yeah, definitely, man. You know, the, the, the work you put in, the work you put in, man. You gotta, uh, you gotta take it upon yourself to make sure that you are uh, doing the most you can do and uh, doing it at the best ability, because that's that's the only thing. My rehab is the only thing that can hold me back from being on the field is at the beginning of the season, and. Uh, and, it, it would, and you want to be so the coaches are saying that you, we want you out there week one. You want to have, uh, <clears throat> you want to have everything lined up so you can be prepared to go out there and play. And uh, rehab is a step that you need to take. Were there, were there certain hurdles that you kind of had to? I know you had never played, but were there certain hurdles out here on the practice field that you wanted to cross that kind of gave you confidence along the way? Whether it's a certain size yeah. or conditioning or anything like that. Yeah, so started off with just um, started off with just doing pass rush and change the direction, change the direction drills. You know, once you start feeling comfortable with that, and then you go into the team emphasis like yesterday, you know, and actually feel somebody push a, push a, push on you and you pushing back on them, and that's what's that's the next step. That's what you really want to feel. And uh, you know, I was out there and I had great confidence, and uh, I'm just excited to keep going and, and and get more and more involved in the game plan. What's next from there? My bad, which one? <laughs> so what's next from there? So next one, they're just doing the whole practice. You know, you go out there, you got to make sure you're practicing the whole day. You know, running to the ball. You know, actually getting in, getting the contact drills. You know, and, and things that 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 aren't so much scripted. You ready for that? Oh yeah, definitely. I guess kind of to build off that. The opener was Saturday. Do you feel like you could go, or do you still have a couple of things you're checking off of the next? Oh, the opener was this afternoon. He told me to go out there. I'm gonna go out there. So it's just what it is. I'm gonna be ready regardless. You said you need to go through a whole practice and 
Uh, on your body in yeah, pretty much everything I've written on tested and uh, checked the bosses off so far. They're doing a great job of making sure I'm doing that here. Uh, that's one of the hats off to the, the training staff and hats off to Coach Ray before just allowing me to be able to go through that um, process. And uh, But conditioning is the last aspect of, you know, uh, it's nothing like you can run all, all day, run all night and um, off the field, but it's nothing like actually being on the field with another 300 pounder pushing you and you run chasing a guy like Derek around. So, you know, it's, it's, that's, uh, that's the fun part about it, but also that's the real part about football, and we all need that to be conditioned. The mental aspect of that feeling mentally like, okay, I could plant and do what I need to do on that knee. Where are you in that process? Yo, oh, mentally, I like mentally wise, man. I'm always ab above my above the net game is always gonna be uh, a one. So I'm never gonna be thinking about injury, man, because I I feel like in football anyway, man, it's a hundred percent injury rate. So if you get hurt, you just gonna get hurt regardless. So you know, I ain't going out there with the mindset that I'm nervous about my knee, nervous about anything. I'm just going out there to try to uh, to be to be my old self and be better than I was last year. When you're rushing on third down, does it make any difference to you if the corners are playing? on the line of scrimmage versus backed up in terms of giving you more time? No, uh, it don't really matter. You know, rush and coverage work together. So, you know, those guys doing their job on the back end, we do our job on the front end, it'll, be, it, 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 it'll all work out. I mean, uh, Bud, to enjoy being back down south uh, after a few years up, up, up in the north, north there, yeah. you enjoying? Man, definitely, man. I'm I'm excited to be back close to my family. You know, Georgia's on the three and a half. Well, Atlanta's on the three and a half hours away, so you know it's fun for that. Uh, you know, I'm excited just to be back in in this type of atmosphere. You know, like I said, I went to school in Kentucky. That's not too far away as well. And uh, you know, it just the, I love the South, man. And the South just puts you in that homey feeling. You know, uh, in that Southern hospitality. Argue that this defense can kind of get the ground running uh, in week one. You guys haven't been out there a lot in the yeah. season, but, but just the pieces around you, how optimistic are you? Man, we're very optimistic. You know, a lot of guys are excited. You know, you got the veterans coming back. You got a lot of new faces on the defense as well. You know, um, and we're all trying to play that role with what we came here to do, you know, and get on this rolling train and, uh, you know, um, make everything glue. And, uh, we're building that we're building that bond right now, building that camaraderie and just trying to keep moving forward and building it on um, communication wise so we can go out and just play very fast and then uh, have as much fun we can. How did you see Rashad grow throughout the preseason? Rashad. Oh, it, yeah, man. Uh grow, man. I, when I got here he was he was doing good. So I don't know you know <laughs> so uh you know he's 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 one of those guys that uh is a very like a real linebacker. You know, um, he's making the calls. You know, he's he's making he's he's making plays. You uh, know, that's what he does, and he's taking it serious each and every day. Oh, sorry, man. Rashad, Rashad Weaver, Weaver, oh. Weaver. Yeah, yeah. My oh, boy. Weave. That's, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all. Okay, you know, I would say, uh, <laughs> yeah, man. We've been doing good, man. He started. Um, he came in, you know, with the rookie mindset, and then now he's he's taking each and every day serious, man. He's trying to get better. He's coming out with something to work on. You know, his practice is coming in. He's 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 very practicing. Very well, man, and uh, the coaches are keep raving on him, and they and they are uh, excited about him as well. You heard from people probably not going to grocery store, but when you go open practice or people see you around, what do you hear from you know, maybe Titans fans or people about being here? What kind of impact they think you can make? Yeah, um, I don't really got a chance to really go a lot of places like that yet, just because um because of the COVID protocols. But uh, uh, man, you know, just from Instagram and Twitter, man, a lot of people showing love and uh. That's, that's from you guys just making the videos and people seeing me at, seeing us at practice. So, you know, that's exciting to see that, um, that they're excited about that as well. So, you know, um, I'm just excited to be around the fans, to see some fans, you know, in person and, you know, continue for that growth.